Do you think it's likely that an early super intelligent AI could rapidly spread to billions of computers on the internet and kind of take them over and be impossible to kill? Why do I care? That sounds like the kind of disaster where there are survivors. Do you? <laughs> yes, I, I, assure, I assume on the, the Maslow hierarchy of caring, you care more about people living. But can, can you talk through how likely that scenario could potentially be with super intelligence? I think this is like the 11th century, like somebody in the 11th century, like they're about to be invaded by a time portal that opens the 21st into the 21st century Russia. And they're, they're like, well, don't tell us these science fiction stories about guns. Tell us like how they would defeat us with spears. And if, if we have the clear understanding that what we are talking about is lower bounds on how badly the 21st century loses the how badly the 11th century loses the 21st century, how badly you, 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 how, how badly wolves used to, used to lose to human beings that have had time to prepare and plan, then sure, you could have a bunch of code on the internet which has flaws, which something smarter than you knows about, and the humans don't, or they knew but they didn't patch it. Um, this, you know, if we're, if we're, if we're, if we're talking about like dinky possibilities, like just taking over the whole internet, at, at that level of the AI still being that stupid, there actually are plausible stories you could tell about how that could not be inevitable. For example, maybe there's an earlier version of the AI that, you know, maybe the AI that can spot all the holes in the code is developed at DeepMind. And DeepMind is responsible about it. And instead of just releasing it to the internet for anybody to use, they try to scan all the code they can find, including code for which they don't have the original source code, and the AI decompiles it, and find all the bugs on the internet that an AI could use to take over the internet at that level of AI, and send out corrections. Or even, though this you know, is maybe a bit beyond the range of what Google would legally do, you know, like, like maybe, maybe somebody drops, a, maybe, maybe OpenAI, well, somebody drops the USB stick containing a copy of the AI that can find holes in all the code, and somebody picks up that USB stick and goes home and accidentally fixes all the code. You know, just have the AI hack into all of those systems that it can detect breaks in for purposes of fixing it before any other AI can take it over. In a case like that, this ability potentially appears early enough to appear in an AI that is not strategic, that will actually do the thing it's pointed at by its loss function and the, and the way it was trained. Can you define the loss function? Um, loss function is the thing where you're applying gradient descent to make the AI better and better at doing that thing. So GPT-4, for example, it's how much probability do you, do you assign to the next word? GPT-4 is not actually a human imitator, it is a human predictor. And if you have something that can predict what the next word is, you can then misuse it as a thing that generates imitative text by repeatedly predicting what a human would say in that situation. Hmm. But it's not actually like a text generator, it's a text predictor. Um, similarly, like maybe you can train it to spot the holes in code and not necessarily have that be at a level of intelligence where it is no longer listening to you and patch all the holes in the internet before some other smarter system could take over all the stuff on the internet. What you can't patch are, for example, the humans. If you find holes in, holes in the human security architecture, you know, good luck patching that before, some other, before another AI exploits it, plus anything smart enough to figure out human psychology to that death. The, the, whatever the, you know, the neuroscience re required to figure out security holes in humans, like that thing might very well be smart enough at that point to you know, not be taking orders anymore.